Hey, it's your boy K-Bond, by far the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world, and the most influential, I might add. We're going to talk about the election. Obviously, it's been a little radio silent on this end, because I produced eight amazing videos that got millions of views, and I promised myself, after November 3rd, I would go to Mexico. Ole! So I did. I went to Mexico, I had a great time, thought about staying there on the more fun side of the wall, but returned. And people asked me my thoughts. I thought I would share my thoughts on the election. Now there's one question I have. Biden had no visible support. Optics matter. For him to have won more votes than Barack Obama means there's an excitement there, there is a level of interest in that candidacy, and you cannot convince me it's all from just hating Donald Trump. But I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so let's follow the timeline. We were told we must lock down for a pandemic. Fine, we did that. Then we were told we were handling it wrong and look at the economy. Our country wasn't built to be shut down. So we can't turn that off uh, and uh, think it's going to be wonderful. There'll be tremendous repercussions. There will be a tremendous death, uh, probably more death from that than anything that we're talking about with respect to the virus. Well, it's a jump ball because any president would have had the same issue with the economy. Then we were told it's okay to riot, protest and loot as long as it's for a positive reason. But I want to note that overall, even in a day where thousands of people were out expressing their views, expressing their frustration, their pain. Not to protest maybe not being able to go to the gym or not being able to go to your favorite bar or restaurant. Good evening. Amped Fitness here has been closed since March 20th and the owner he believes it's time for that to end but certainly to burn down your favorite gym or destroy your favorite bar or restaurant that is allowed immigrant owned a, a restaurant right now uh the Persian house restaurant in portland is similarly affected by all of this so that's what we we're dealing with all throughout the year then that excuse was further used for voting absentee ballots are commonly done and i think it's a great system you say hey i'm not going to be home on this day cave on wants one ballot please then they say send cave on one ballot and they expect one back. This was the first time we did carte blanche voting. That means everyone gets a ballot. 170 million people all get one, rain or shine, whether they want it or not. People may have moved, people may be dead, people may be moved and then a ballot went to their first house and their new house. People may have voted and then mailed in a ballot as well. But this goes into further conspiracies. I just want to talk about basics. What are the chances everyone had to be locked down and had to get a mail-in ballot for health and safety reasons? However, as soon as the election was announced in favor of Biden, those same people who would not attend one of his rallies for health and safety reasons are now dancing, jumping, and hanging out arm in arm, masks optional, in the street. This doesn't pass the sniff test. Congratulations to the few Biden supporters out there. I know there's a lot of Trump haters out there. Congratulations. A lot of you have asked, are you crying? Are you screaming to the moon? No. That's what you do. Just because you do it doesn't mean it goes both ways. Because winners know how to lose. We've lost before. But losers never really win. If you think your life is better now that Biden looks like he's about to go into office, if you think you're going to have this great vacation now for four years. Your life is going to be exactly where it was. The only difference is, as a comedian, I have a lot more material because as funny as Trump was, he was actually very funny himself and he would give as good as he got. Remember this, it's a friendly protest. Please remember, this is not a rally. You know, she said she had 33,000 emails and the emails were for her yoga lessons. Now, look, you know, she's not big into yoga, I can tell you. If she is, she's not getting her money's worth. Biden is a gaff machine. He stutters his words, but not from a childhood stutter, because he's trying to think of the next lie. What kind of country are we going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different. I never forgot what President Kennedy said about going to the moon. He said, we're going. You know why? because we refuse to postpone. Let's not postpone and get out of the rain. God bless you all. Thank you. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. Mobilize true and international effort to pressure. Donald Trump thinks healthcare is a privilege. 
Barack and I think it's a right for people to have bad and kept care. He, he, uh, he never had a childhood stutter. That was a media-generated story to cover for his decline mentally. And Biden says that in his own words. The Atlantic recently published a powerful piece about your childhood stutter. And sometimes what is characterized as a memory lapse is indeed a stutter. Mr. Vice President, do you feel that? I don't think of myself as continuing to stutter. I never, that doesn't cross my mind that I'm stuttering, but apparently people will say occasionally, when I'm tired, I'm gonna go, I'll say, um, uh, uh, and I'll find myself searching for a second. Look, the mistakes I make are mistakes, and some people th think I still stutter. I don't think of myself that way. And uh, so as a consequence of that, it brings us back to maybe the fundamental disagreement between Governor Palin and me and Senator McCain and Barack Obama. And more importantly, we don't really care at the end of the day who the president is. We're happy there are a balance of powers and the Senate is indeed going to check that balance. That's the hope. However, we do like fairness and we would like to see if by chance one of the least exciting politicians of all time I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> All right. That couldn't even get a football field sized crowd to his local high school who does not remember where he is or what his name is. Once more, he forgot where he was and then tried to pass it off as some kind of joke. Welcome to Kingswood Community Center. Actually, that's the one down I used to work. It's a joke. You didn't know where we were anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here and uh, back uh, to the place where... Uh... Who partnered with Kamala Harris, who was not even popular in her own state, is now going to lead the nation as the most voted for candidate of all time. And those same voters who were scared to congregate and had to mail in their ballot are now, two weeks later, dancing, hugging, jumping, and playing in the streets. This morning, many New Yorkers took to the streets. And Andrea, for hours, those celebrations have been growing by the number. As you can see, thousands of people who are out here right now in Times Square, someone telling me that this is the Times Square they once knew. All of these things don't quite match up. So we're gonna look into it and congratulations if you did win. Winners will still continue winning. We can take one L and just do what we do best. Roll up our sleeves, work hard, spend time with our family, friends, our loved ones, and I think you'll find we are emotionally fairly centered. Unlike you! That's all I have to say for now. Do you agree, disagree, want to call each other a racist? Now's the time to do it in the comments. And find me on YouTube. I have 300 comedy clips where I actually tell jokes instead of break down the election. So get ready to laugh and let's move on regardless of what happens. But we are going to take a peek at those mail-in ballots and see what was going on. Fair warning.